morning everyone I'm here in I'm kind of out for a walk today and I just thought I would talk to you today about the significance of the year of the dog and yang earth and how that's affecting a lot of people so this is a walking path that i go on quite often i'm very fortunate that i live in really one of the most beautiful places in the world i'm in marin county uh, north of the san francisco uh, golden gate bridge but i want to talk about this mountain that's behind me and it's called mountain burdell um, and it's a very auspicious shape if you will this nice little kind of conical shape um, it's not a real large mountain so you know i guess in the feng shui world we would probably call that more of a uh, a hill but um, and in california we do have quite a few large um, land formations but this one is quite significant one of the reasons it's quite significant is i actually live um, on that hill and um, let's see I'm looking at this kind of backwards here but I suppose uh, to this side of my head yeah that's it that is the Buck Institute where they do a lot of stem cell research and so it's it's a very important educational uh, breakthrough uh, mountain if you will and then we have this beautiful you know kind of little lagoon um, there is a discrepancy on whether this big open water of uh, the ocean or rivers are much more um, auspicious than this type of water which can to be a little bit it's feeding the marshes basically and in the u.s we very much revere the uh, all of the ecosystems and all of the plant life that's living um, in this particular area but um, I digress. I really wanted to talk more about Yang Earth and um, how that is going to be helping you. I don't know if I told you who I am, but I'm Kathleen Zemanski and I'm a business feng shui master and this is Time Blazer Tuesday. Um, and I just really wanted to let you know how significant um, the landform is to any part, thanks for the love you guys, um, there's any part of the the um, you know feng shui that we do we always 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 look outside if you have this great landform and I know everyone in the world doesn't have this but you've got something it's got a little bit of heel even if it's completely flat um, there is some movement in the earth right and so the movement in the earth is what's really going to be helping so um, yang earth yang earth is about stability I mean come on this this particular mountain isn't going anywhere if I plant some geraniums in it or some crops or things like that it's a really hard earth so one of the things that it is known for is stability it's known for deep wisdom I mean all of the great minerals maybe not in this mountain but you know in in mountains around the world I mean they have been excavated for years how did they get to those beautiful diamonds and rubies and silvers and gold they have to blast it out of the mountain which means it's very 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 strong so that's kind of what this year is about it's it's a really strong year and I, and if you attended my annual event at the top of the year I talked about how the earth dog we're gonna start seeing some seismic shifts we are now in the month of the dog in October that happens every year that's from the time blazer that it is basically and the time blazer is a feng shui calendar to i where i help my business owners um, have success by choosing the right things on the right day but we now have two dogs and for some animals like if you have a rabbit or even another dog in your chart it's probably not going to be so disruptive if you will but if you have a dragon in your chart or a rooster in your chart those those two animals especially there's other ones as well but those two animals especially are probably feeling the brunt of we got a hiker coming by here real soon um, you're gonna be feeling the brunt of that particular energy if you will so uh, what I would like you to do and encourage you to do is go download your free chart and you can get that at free businessastrology.com once I get back to the office after this nice hike I will um, drop that URL into the 
into the chat, if you will. But it will basically be um, where you're going to be able to find out what animals are there for you. And if you have the dragon and if you have the rooster, my biggest, 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 biggest suggestion would be to watch your communication. Um, if you're signing important contracts, probably not doing it on another dog day. Um, that would probably um, be like kind of shooting yourself in the foot. So um, it is gonna be a little disruptive for a couple of those animals, but don't despair. It's just a month and if you watch your communication and all of that, you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna come out fine. But I do also suggest that if you, again, thanks for the love you guys, I appreciate it. What I would like you to do is start thinking about what's coming up next. And what's coming up next is the earth pig. Now, from what I'm looking at, and I'm just beginning to look at the year so far, we're gonna have earth on top of, an earth is gonna be more like this kind of earth that we see on the ground, where then we're gonna have some of this water that we've got here in the background. And what that's gonna start creating is confusion. So if you don't want to be confused and you really want to have a great start on how to kind of get through the minutia of the year, you might want to come to my annual event and that's on January the 15th and you can get your tickets at bit.ly forward slash earth pig and then you can sign up there i've got some early bird things that you can um, find out more about that but for now what i want you to do is think about we're in the here and the now and we still have three and a half months uh, if you're watching this live we have about three and a half months because the year of the earth pig although it's kind of here i'll talk a little bit more about that soon um, in another video but um, we still have three and a half months of the earth dog to contend with and especially if you've got some some animals that are a little bit cranky this year so um, what I um, want you to do is share this video like it make a comment tell me what you want to hear and I'll be back next week for Time Blazer Tuesdays. I'm not sure what channel. I tried to get on my, my Time Blazer page this morning, but out on the field, I guess I didn't have enough um, internet to do that. But anyway, we'll get it over there somehow today and um, have an amazing day. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my walk here. See you next week, bye.